everybody it's Linda again and I wanted to share this uh, traveler's notebook uh, with you today uh, this will be something new in my Etsy store soon and she's the traveling a uh, hardcover traveling notebook that's four and a half by eight and a half uh, I don't know whether I said it or not but she's hardcover and her name is Friday I think I made her on Friday a long time ago and I was saying in another video in case that you missed it is that I create my journals and I put them up in, on this counter and I can have you know quite a few up there at one time and I don't pick them up to do videos until maybe a month or two months later and uh, I think Friday is also one of those that I made several months ago she is a hardcover and uh, her spine has a muslin a fabric covering her inside and outside and she's decoupaged here on the front to give her sort of a a very vintage look and she's got these uh, three buttons here and the, the saying here is oh happy day so and then she's got two copper uh, buttons uh, circles here and her spine uh, has this green to, to go in with that green uh, covering the spine over the muslin uh, fabric and here is the back a decoupage back and you can tell that she's got the coffee stained muslin underneath this heavy black card stock front and back so she's totally covered in that and then accented with the black cardboard and then the decoupaging and accented with this uh, green 100% cotton and then the then I put the black uh, heavy card stock here and decoupage this on the front so like I said her name is Friday she's got 176 pages she's four signatures and she has three loose envelopes and here is the bottom and she comes with this beautiful black sari silk thread tight tight closure I'll get it out in a minute just have to give me a minute and sometimes my mind is going faster than my <coughs> mouth so here whenever you open her up you can see the coffee stain uh, muslin cloth here and then uh, you have this diagonal pocket and you have this pink gingham um, card and this is graphic 45 uh, paper and so let's take a look let's just continue on you got a big pocket there and some uh, it's a cardstock uh, coffee stain that's been covered with another one on the front, another fabric on the front. And here is a guest, half of a guest ticket. So this looks like it's going to be also a, a mixture of my papers and a lot of my stamping. My coffee stain papers. double pockets a book page pocket here that's been doubled yeah, I'm going to fold it and put it in I always say you know if it's not if it's got to go wrong it's got to go wrong right here when I am sharing with you guys. This is a, a handmade paper envelope that I tried my hand at and then I put a, a book page there and then I coffee stained it. So I made maybe a dozen of those and that was so time consuming to make your own paper. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> so, <laughs> if 
you if you get this one, feel lucky because they're not coming out anymore. I mean, that is really a chore to make your own paper. Some washi tape. I don't know what possessed me to even try. They turned out great, but I mean, it's just too much. Look at this stamp. Isn't that pretty? Too much work. not too much work it's just too time consuming for the product that you get I love the feel of the, all of this different textures in this paper double envelope with a again I decoupage the front on this coffee stain uh, card stock. Another little one. And I guess this is also where I was doing my book pages. Doubling them up and then staining them for the pockets. I won't be doing that again either, I don't think. Double pocket, same as the others with the big tag. Two of them. And then a little cutie here. That. I got this uh, where I could use uh, during my uh, Dragonfly journal uh, Calico uh, Creations has a, a beautiful uh, Dragonfly paper set that I have purchased maybe three, four months ago. Got the stamp too. Never done the journal yet. Just been doing everything else instead of that. I like that. I like this idea though of uh, decoupaging the front of a four by six cardstock. It makes a nice journaling card. I don't know if you can hear the TV. My husband is finishing the movie that he went to sleep in last night. Uh, Cold Pursuit. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it thoroughly. But he missed it, so we got it at uh, Redbox. And so now he's finishing it before he can take it back. And that TV has a big uh, loud speakers. And that's what he's playing it on. Sound system, I mean. This sort of shakes the whole house. You know, uh, we retired early from our corporate careers and moved back to Louisville from Detroit, Michigan. We were up there for 19 years. Well, we didn't live in Detroit. We worked in Detroit and uh, came back to Louisville because my mother was here, which since has passed away. Uh, but my daughter's here. And that is the extent of our family now. And we can get to do things that we want to do since we're retired, which this is what I want to do. I want to supplement my income with something that I love, absolutely love, making my journals. And I was an artist uh, in my spare time before. And paintings and art, you know, the, that kind of art. And I always dinkered making jewelry for myself and things like that just as a hobby. And then we moved down here. Uh, I got to do this. 
and we got you know we get to go and do whatever we want to do uh, some days I can sleep till noon and what a joy that is that I don't have to be up at 530 anymore and I don't have to fly anymore I used to fly all over the country for my com uh, company uh, Monday through Friday and so did my husband and so we're just very content to be homebodies because we have seen every major city almost in the United States and I've been to Europe and so has he so we're just sort of homebodies and so we got that beautiful theater sound system upstairs because that's part of our entertainment when we watch our movies or TV and I've got this really nice big huge studio that I stay most of my days in and he's got an office upstairs that he keeps himself busy in and so that's my uh, story so this is my passion making these and sharing them and, and having it other people write their reviews how much they enjoy them and and how it means to them because not everybody can do this you know not everybody has that talent my daughter is one uh, she is not artistic at all but I think that you have to be artistic to to do something like this to create it and put it together and to make people happy uh, is, is, is a joy for me you know uh, my all my life I was in the corporate business world and it's not a happy world to work in and it's not a happy world to fly as much as, as uh, we both flew so this is a pleasure for me and it, it, it is strictly a pleasure for me to share with you on uh, a semi-regular basis my videos and talk to you uh, in, in a roundabout way I was trying to tell you that I don't talk to that many people anymore and to have a conversation uh, with my daughter or my grandson or my husband and that that's about it because like I said we sort of stick to ourselves and and it, when I started off I was explaining that, that I am a very shy person with very little to say so this is this is fun for me so I hope you enjoyed oh happy day I like that saying I like making her and I think she's cute she's colorful and she'll be fun for somebody to enjoy. I like all of this uh, fraying here that I did. This is the uh, cotton muslin underneath here. So if you haven't done it already, please subscribe and comment and let me know what you think of Oh Happy Day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.